One of the most valuable ways I have found to manage encounter difficulty is this thing that I refer to as the lazy encounter benchmark. You can find a link to an article in the show notes below if you want to see a written version of this. The way the lazy encounter benchmark works is that you have a simple equation that you can keep in your head that helps you determine if an encounter is in the red, that you basically you're, you're getting into dangerous territory where one or more characters might actually die from the battle. That doesn't mean you don't want to run hard battles. It just means that you want to know if you're heading in that to territory specifically. Specifically, if you're heading into that territory and you didn't realize you were going there. The way that the equation works is this. An encounter may be potentially deadly if the sum total of monster challenge ratings is greater than one fourth of the sum total of character levels or one half of character levels if the characters are fifth level and above. As a quick example, let's say you have five level three characters. That is a total of 15. You divide 15 by four and you get roughly four. It's like between three and four. So if the total amount amount of monsters that you have if you add up all of their challenge ratings and that challenge ratings are less than three, you're probably not going to kill any characters. If it's greater than three, you might be at risk. Let's say we have five level six characters. The total character levels are 30. We divide that in half because they're above fifth level. That's 15. If all of your monster CRs together are greater than 15, you're in dangerous, you're in dangerous waters. It means you could potentially kill a character. It's a really easy way to balance characters and monsters, regardless of the mix of character levels or the mix of monster CRs. It's a nice general way to tell you, generally speaking, are you in the red? But sometimes that encounter benchmark might not work perfectly for your group. Either the group has like companion NPCs that are along with them or tremendously powerful magic items, or maybe they actually don't work all that well tactically together. So maybe they actually tend to, it's, it's easy for them to get overwhelmed. The, the easiest way to tune the lazy encounter benchmark and the main tip that I wanted to offer today is you can use the same lazy encounter benchmark by either adding or removing a character from the game. So an example is, let's say those five level six characters are just destroying creatures left and right. It's really, you really look at these five level six characters, like these guys are punching way above their weight class. Pretend there are six characters. So now instead of a lazy encounter benchmark of 15, it turns into a lazy encounter benchmark of 18. You basically move the dial up and you did it by just adding another character. Let's say those five level six characters, let's say one of them is continually working with a summoned companion and that companion is really, really powerful. And you think it's kind of like adding it, just add a sixth character there's still at a six character is still six level so now you have 36 instead of 30 and half of that is 18 so now your cr benchmark is 18 and you can keep doing that let's say you add a seventh you oh no two of these characters are really powerful and the monk is stunning everything that comes out the mage is always casting banish or whatever you can just keep adding characters that are roughly the average level of the, the rest of the characters and add them onto the end and that keeps pushing the benchmark out now you might be thinking what well, it's better to just raise raise the level that instead of treating them as level four, you treat them as level five. The problem is because the lazy encounter benchmark has this stair, this big jump between fourth and fifth level, you could inadvertently push the whole thing too far. If there were a bunch of level four characters, but you treat them as fifth level, well, now you're going from one quarter of the sum total of character levels to one half. So you're really better off just adding characters, just add new characters to it if you need to increase the benchmark. And the same way in reverse. Let's say that those five, six level characters are too... They're, they're getting stomped a lot that you realize like they're just not acting that efficiently. They're, they're getting, they, they, they don't seem to be as powerful. Maybe they don't have the right class mix or something like that. Instead of treating them as five, you could treat them as four. So now you just basically remove one of the characters from the equation. And now you have four, six level characters, which is 24. Half of 24 is 12. So instead of a deadly encounter benchmark of 15, the benchmark is now 12. You've moved the needle to the left a little bit. So that's a really easy way to take the lazy encounter benchmark, this relatively simple equation that tells you how, you know, is my battle heading into the red or not? And if you want to just tune the encounter, you want to tune the benchmark a little bit to better suit the characters that you actually have, you can do so by just adding more characters into the benchmark. Either pretend that there are more characters or pretend that there are less characters and then do the same calculation and you can come up with the same number. You can find a link that talks all about the lazy encounter benchmark in the show notes below. You can also find it in our upcoming book, Forge of Foes, where we talk all about this kind of thing. You can also find it in my other book, 
the Lazy DM's Companion. All of those books are available on the Sly Flourish bookstore. That link is down in the show notes below. If you like tips like this and you want more of them, you can sign up for the Sly Flourish newsletter absolutely free. You get a free Adventure Generator PDF and a weekly RPG related article sent directly to your inbox. Or you can become a patron of Sly Flourish. Patrons get access to all kinds of tips like this, previews of videos, the City of Arches source book, Uncovered Secrets Volume 1 and 2, a dedicated Discord server, all kinds of stuff that you get from becoming a patron of Sly Flourish. You can find links for all of this down in the show notes below. Thank you all very much. Have a great day and get out there and play an RPG.